Hey, what's going on folks? PK here. So tomorrow I'm going to try to go catch some Dungeness crab on the Oregon coast. And I just want to show you what um, I'll be using to catch those crab. Uh, I have a crab snare here. Um, I've decided to use snares now because, uh, as you can see, they have a smaller profile. And I can really get the distance with these guys uh, as compared to a like a clam style trap. Where it's more bulky, it's a little uh, fatter, so it has a you know a lot of drag when you cast it. But these guys, um, because of their smaller profile, uh, they cast pretty far, and uh, it's just a cage, and it has uh, loops on them, and these loops are made from uh, like trimmer wires, wheat trimmer wires, and wheat trimmer lines. I, I mean. And uh, you can attach them to the cage, and uh, when you uh, get a crab, you know, it just acts as a snare, okay? So I got six loops on here, and uh, the cage is square. You open it like that, you put your bait in there, you close it up, and then you uh, cinch it up, uh, zip tie, or uh, close it with the uh, bungee cord. And I have an extra weight on here, because uh, there is no weight on the snare. And if you don't add weight, it's just going to drift around. So you want to make sure you have um, weight. And I want to thank Jay for giving me this uh, claw weight. This is a four ounce. Um, when the tide's really rough, you can use like even a heavier weight, you know, six, eight, ten, and so on. Okay. So that is my snare right there that I'll be using to catch the crap. And also I have another one. Uh, this one is from... Uh, Henry from Fishernomics. I want to say uh, thank you, Henry, for sending me this snare to use. Um, so this one, it has a little bigger uh, loop, the diameter. Uh, I think this one's like a 0.9 or something millimeter. I can't remember. Um, but this, this one has a smaller uh, diameter loop um, snare. So it works the same. Um, so it has a slightly smaller profile than the other one. Uh, this one is only um, two squares thick. Um, but you can still put a lot of bait on in here, and uh, it'll get a real good amount of scent um, to drift in the current. And for the weight, it comes with, uh, it looks like a two ounce, a one ounce or two ounce. Not one ounce, maybe a two ounce weight. But I feel that's a little too light, so I added more weights on here. I have a 2, a 3, and a 1, okay? So I just want to make sure this doesn't drift. Because when it does, uh, the crab tend to spook. So that's why I have all these weights on here. So yeah, there it is. Those are the, those are the snares that I'll be using. So let's talk about uh, rod and reel. The reel I use, I have one here. This is a Saragossa. Uh, 14,000, um, really, really good, powerful crank and reel. Um, I like it a lot. It's very, uh, it's very beefy, it's very durable. You can really put a lot of torque on here. And you want to make sure you have a big reel because um, when you're pulling in that crap, it has, it has a lot of drag. So you want to make sure your reel can handle it. So uh saragossa 14,000 and on my other setup i have a diva bg 5000 um it's a little bit it's almost about the same um shimano diva pen their sizing is kind of wonky um, but this is a 5000 and for the line i have 80 pound braid and uh, so you need, at, I'd recommend at least 80 pound in case, you know, because like I said, when you're pulling, when you're pulling in the crab, it causes a lot of drag. So you want to make sure you have a uh, heavy line so it doesn't break. And for my rod, this is a pretty nice surf rod. Um, it is a Fiblink, Fiblink. Um, this is what, a 12 foot? Yeah, it's a 12 foot surf rod so it's very heavy it's very long and this will really get the distance um, especially with a small profile snare it'll really get it out there so 12 foot and i have my other rod here uh 
this is a, I believe it's a 13 foot, same, um, same company. Yeah, it's a 13 foot. Can you see that? Will it focus? It's going backwards, sorry. The uh, letters are too small, but it's a 13 foot, uh, rated for four to eight ounce, 20 to 40 pound test, okay? So really big, heavy surf rod. So yeah, that's about it. That's my setup. So let's um, get out there. All right, folks, here we are on the beach. We are back at it and um, redemption trip, but I don't know. We might get stung today, we might not. We're at the old spot and I got two uh, snares out and Jay is behind me. Hey, gang. So we're just gonna try to catch some Dungeness crab. Um, got out here a little bit late. It is about eight o'clock right now and uh, sunny, a little cold, a little windy. High condition, yes, it is an incoming tide. It's pretty high, it's like eight something, I think. And we were going to go to another spot across the bay, but because of the high tide, there's really no beach in it, so it's kind of dangerous. So we're out here at our old spot. Hopefully we get some, and we're gonna try to cook today. Um, I'm gonna try to cook some quesadilla crab. And uh, so that's the whole plan, okay? So now we're just gonna, we got our trapped out, our snares out, we're just waiting, okay? Enjoy the show. And of course, gotta have that in the morning. Uh, thank you, Jay, for, for, for the beer. Absolutely, <laughs> breakfast of champions. Yeah, breakfast of champions. All right, let's crack this open and enjoy the day. All right, guys, first poll, here we go. First poll, let's do it. Boy, this tide's coming out really fast. Whoa. <laughs> Look at the water's right here. See that? Man, I'm gonna have to move my uh, stake up. I feel a little weight, but I think that might be just a drag. Feels heavy. Oh, did I get somebody? Oh, I got one. I got one, guys. Got one. I don't think he's legal, though. Hey, there we go. Yes. First crab of the day, that's a female. Female crab. Non-legal though. But hey, it is a crab. Look at that. That snare works really good. I like it. All right, buddy, hold on, I'll get you out. Come here, Let's get you out of there. Okay, there's one. Hold on, girl. There's two. All right, well, first crab of the day. Um, nothing though. Yeah, one. Female. Three keeper. Oh, nice. Oh, sweet. All right, guys, I'm gonna put this out there again. Bait still is good. Wing it out there, guys wing it out there the thing i like about the snare is they cast pretty far because they have a, a lower a smaller profile oh you got one jay nice all right so here is number two here we go i feel weight i feel weight guys oh i got one i got another one my homemade snare like the same one <laughs> wow that's like the same one guys 
Oh, there we go. I should, uh... There we go. Well, two crap, two poles, not bad. Unfortunately, it is a female. So, yeah. Not bad at all. So, we'll keep going. Get to that again. Oh, there we go. I should have brought more weights, I forgot. There's weight. <laughs> there is weight. Yeah, there is. It's spinning, so that's a good sign. Oh, no. small, he's small. Hey, he is a male. There we go. Worth measuring, can you fit my bail? Okay, put that sucker down there. Well, we got one, guys. I don't know, he yeah, looks kind of small, though. But we're gonna measure him, he's worth measuring. So there we go, first crab, first male crab of the day. That's pretty cool. Is it soft or hard? It's a hard shell. It's in, a, it's in a leg. Yeah. Hey, you have any uh, weights on you, Jay? Weights? Yeah, like a two ounce, three ounce. I have it in my car, I can get you some. Okay. Let's see if he measures. Oh no, it's too small, dang it. Uh, let's see. Let me see, let me see. Let's measure him. Oh, uh, he's about a quarter off. Yeah, it's about a quarter off. It's a little small. Okay, guys, your lucky day. There you go. There he goes. All right, guys, so the I pulled twice. Nothing yet. Um, one was close, about a quarter inch off, but no cigar. So we'll keep going. It is 8.49, 9.18, I believe, is a high tide. And uh, we'll just keep, keep going until about maybe 9.30, uh, 10 o'clock. Hopefully we get one. We just need one crab. That's all we need for a little catch and cook. Yeah, I hope so. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Please give me a big one. Oh, yeah, there's weight. There's weight. Oh, yes. Please be a big one. <laughs> Please be a big one. Let it be a keeper. Feels heavy. Feels heavy. Heavier than the last two poles. Oh my goodness. Oh, because there's two. <laughs> there, we got two guys. One female. One both female, female. Both female. Oh man, nothing. Nothing. That's hey, how it is. We're getting small ones. Last time we came, we didn't even get small ones. Yeah, I know. Okay, there we go. Two crab, two female crab, guys. Oh, easy now. All right, all right. There you go. There we go, guys. We got two crab. Okay, come here, girl. Two females, no luck. Oh, we'll keep on trying. Hey, we're getting better. I mean, two this time. The other one was close. That's a good trend. See this one. Oh. Nope, light. Oh, I got one. One female. A lot of female today. Usually, when there's a lot of female, it just means like the uh, the area is very high pressured. So there we go. Now in California, you can keep the females. In Oregon, you cannot. Beautiful day on the coast. It's an awesome day. A little chilly. Yeah, it's a little chilly. Super chilly. So, pretty awesome. I'm enjoying out here, man. It's so nice. This is your first, this is your first trip out of the coast since you've been home? Yep, this is it. Well, folks, um, we are coming in at about 9.30, um, been kind of slow. So I think we'll go about 15 more minutes. And if we don't catch anything, um, 
Heck, I, I just, I'm just gonna do like a cheese quesadilla. I really was hoping to catch some crap for you guys, you know, something to show on video, but I guess that's how it is, because it is, you know, it is what, it's February and uh, we're on the downturn and it's been raining a lot, so um, crabbing won't be as good as say in the fall, late summer, fall. So, yeah, well, yeah, so, man, it's just, uh, this is the second trip this year where we uh, got skunked and um, was hoping to have some crab for lunch. <laughs> but that's how it is sometimes, right? So we're gonna go about another 15 minutes and if nothing, we'll just go to the um, boat ramp and uh, cook some cheese quesadilla for you guys. Finish this video. Okay, there is weight, guys. There is some weight, so that's good. Come on, baby, give me a keeper. It feels pretty light. I don't think it's a keeper, though. But I could be wrong. Yeah, there's some weight. I got one. I got one. I don't know if it's a keeper, though. Oh, no, too small. Another female, too. There we go, guys. Another one. Unfortunately, that's a female. Okay, buddy. There you go. I love it. It's a little tiny stove, but man, it can go pretty you a, far. You have a new stove every time I see you. Well, <laughs> this is a, uh, this is the old one. So let's see. Let's prepare first before we light that fire. And we have, I don't have a cutting board which we will use this paper plate for right here. So cheese, quesadilla, cilantro. All right, guys, we're going to make this simple, quick and easy. We got tortilla, we got cheese, cilantro, avocado, sour cream, and that's it. No crap. It's OK. And then we got the beer, too. We'll use this one. Oh, yeah, Jay, give Jay, 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 yeah. Jay, Jay Kendrick, sound him rods. Right there, thank you, Jay. Um, you want a perch or you want a crab again? You haven't had crab in a while though, huh? Yeah, I haven't had crab in a while. It's going to be kind of crazy quesadilla. No. I, you mean transfer? Guys, we are finally cooking. <laughs> I burned two. Uh, hopefully the third one's a charm, huh? <laughs> Jesus, man. I'm losing my touch here. You needed more beer, that's why. You didn't have enough well, beer before you started cooking. This, this is what happens when I don't do it for a long time and I lose my touch. I think that's what it is. We're doing uh, caveman style? We're doing caveman style. Oops. Got it? I can't get the bottom one. Oh, there we go. All right. All right, so this one. Oh, thank you. Woo! Okay, guys. We have our quesadilla. All right. Half burn. I'm sorry, Jay. <laughs> it's not half burn, it's quarter burn. <laughs> <laughs> so, even though it's a slow day of crabbing, we still manage to get food. Awesome. It looks great. Yeah, let's give it a shot, man. Let's okay. bite in and uh, see how it is. We have two and a half quesadilla each. Here. Hey, oh, you didn't toast. Mm, I'm sorry. <laughs> toast. Boom, right there. Mm. Oh, man. Burn no matter. That's good. Yeah. No, oh, it's not that burnt. Boy, what a gorgeous day. Man, what a beauty. Yeah, it's amazing how the wind died down, too. Mm hmm. Mm. These are really good. Mm -hmm. I love quesadillas. I've never done a crab quesadilla before. I was hoping to today, but next time. Hey, that's how it is sometime, right? You made me perch quesadillas uh, yeah. last year. I think it was last year, you, me, and Ton. Mm -hmm. That was actually really good. Those were really yeah. good. Really good. So we got avocado, cheese, sour cream, cilantro. Oh, we forgot hot sauce. Oh, <laughs> next time. Man. Hot sauce and crab next time. How can I forget that? No. Even sriracha, man. You usually love hot sauce. Nope. Mmm. That's good. This is really good. Man, what a gorgeous day, too. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, We're yeah. going to finish up because there's a bee around here who's trying to. <laughs> there's several, fight. actually. Yeah. Wow. Um, must be a bee nest somewhere around here. But we're gonna close here. Um, hey, thanks for coming, Jay. Well, it was an awesome time again, PK. Even though we didn't catch anything, it was another awesome time. Yeah. And uh, even though we didn't catch anything, we still had a good quesadilla. Um, 
Now, remember, I'm kind of worried about the April 1st crab boil that's coming up here. Um, as you can see, crabbing is really slow. So we might just make it like a, maybe like a barbecue uh, cookout or something. That'd be the backup plan. Yeah, that'd be the backup plan. The primary plan is we're gonna all get your crab and we're gonna have a great crab fest. Yeah, we're still gonna try to crab, of course, but if we don't catch anything with well, a backup plan, it's just barbecue, okay? So April 1st, uh, Joe, please contact me because you are the winner for that contest. And yeah, we'll just end it here. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I know we didn't catch anything, but we'll do it next time. Have fun fishing, tight lines.